okay so we are talking about capital employed so when i tell you what is capital employed do you know what is capital employed yes ma'am it is money that's been uh, given by invested by outsiders <clears throat> no capital employed is the money that is used in business okay <clears throat> if it is the owners money that is used in the business if it is the owners money that is used in the business it is called as capital and if it is outsiders money that is used in the business then it is called as a liability okay but we are talking about the non current liability not the current liability so if it is uh, owners money invested in the business it is called capital and when it is somebody else's money invested in the business it is called your non current liability okay so when you make your balance sheet okay when you are making your balance sheet you have your liabilities over here you have your assets over here are you with me yes ma'am here you will have your non current assets here you will have your current assets and here you will have your total assets are you with me yes, okay yes ma'am your total assets will always be equal to your total liabilities when you add your capital your partners capital plus your reserves okay so this and your non current liability this all three is nothing but your capital employed what is it this is your capital, capital employed and here you will have your current liability which is usually your creditors or you could say it is your outside liabilities with me yes ma'am so when you want to find out capital employed you basically want this what do you want you want this Say for example, your non-current assets is hundred. Your current assets is ten. Uh, so your total assets will become hundred and ten. Your total liabilities is hundred and ten. Yes, ma'am. Whatever is your total assets, the same will be your total liabilities. Are you with total me? Total liabilities. Okay. Yes, so your total assets and your total liabilities is the same thing. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So whatever is your total assets, the same will be your total liabilities. So from your total assets, from your total assets, your current liability or you could say your outsiders are five. So can you tell me your capital employed? Then. Uh... what is capital employed capital employed is this part yes ma'am your total assets is 110 and the same will be your total liabilities 110 yes ma'am if you want to find out this part how will you find out um. this is 110 yes ma'am This is hundred and ten. Yes, ma'am. That means the total of this side should be how much? Ah, okay, so hundred and five. Hundred and five. Ah. So your capital employed is nothing but hundred and five. Okay. How did you get this capital employed? You took your total assets, right? Yes, ma'am. So I am saying all assets. Which side approach I am giving you? I am giving you the asset side approach. Which side approach? Asset side. Asset side approach. So when I am doing asset side approach, I took this total assets, right? Yes, ma'am. And from the total assets, what did I subtract? Now from the total assets, you subtract the um, outside liabilities. i subtracted the outside liabilities to arrive at capital employed are you with me yes ma'am 
so when i am calculating capital employed through my asset side approach i will take my all the assets but in yes. these assets i don't want uh, some things what do i don't want what i don't want i i will take all assets except yes. goodwill so i don't want goodwill yes, so i will subtract the goodwill i will also subtract the non trade investments what will i subtract non trade investments okay i will also subtract the non trade investments that means those investments that are not used for trading and yes, i will sir. subtract fictitious assets fictitious assets the the assets which are only appearing on the asset side but they are not assets it would be like the advertisement suspend yes sir so from all the assets but when i am calculating all assets i don't want three things what are those three things yes. that i don't want now good will non trade investment and fixtures fixtures yes, assets so from all the assets when i am subtracting outside liabilities so from all the assets when i am subtracting which liabilities outside outside liabilities. liabilities i am going to get something which is called the capital employed yes sir are you with me yes sir so what is capital employed money used in the business it is nothing money but basically the capital plus reserves plus non current liability plus non current liability okay capital plus reserves plus your non current liability non current liability starting from the asset side you calculate capital employed all the assets what do you do all the assets minus all outside assets. liabilities yes. which will usually be your creditors outside liability it will usually be your creditors creditors are you with me but when you are taking all the assets which three things you want to subtract from all assets goodwill goodwill non trading assets fictitious assets so this is the asset side approach which side approach asset side when i am talking about the liability side approach can you tell me what will be capital employed um can you tell me what will be capital employed when you find the liability side approach no no don't can you give me format of the balance sheet yes ma'am tell me now one side will have uh is the liabilities and assets mm -hmm. and then ma'am from the asset side there will be non current assets which is your fixed assets fixed assets then current asset this ravi ac ki bank karwa raha hai yes ma'am total assets then we get total assets but for our capital what you don't need from all assets what is not needed from all assets ma'am what is not needed so, I'm like uh, this. Uh, what do we say? Goodwill, fictitious assets, and non-trade investment. Goodwill, fictitious assets, non-trade investment. Non-trade investments. Very good. Okay. So from all the assets, if you will subtract, uh, what you will subtract? Goodwill, fictitious assets, and non-trade investments. So when you will subtract your outside liabilities, that is your current liabilities, yes, or I would say your creditors, you are going to get capital employed asset side approach. Asset side approach. Asset side approach means you are starting from asset, 
and you're arriving yes, over now when you talk about the liability side approach yes, that means so liability, you will have yes, to talk. liability liability side how will you start um it will be like uh, current liabilities first no you want this box your this box is capital employed okay what will come in this box You will have your capital. That yes, means you will have your partner's <clears throat> capital. Okay, partner's capital. Plus you will have your reserves. Reserves. Plus you will have your outsider's long-term liabilities. Okay. So from liability side approach, you just need this box. So how do you get capital employed? Can you tell me? Um, first of all, Capital, capital of partners plus reserves plus reserves and plus non long term non current liabilities. Okay, again you can tell me what will come. Now it will be capital of partners plus reserves plus long term non current liabilities. Yes, but there are some things that you still don't need. What are those things that you still don't need from liability side approach? You will minus what? Um, outside liabilities. No, three things that you will always minus. Okay, like minus so like, goodwill. Uh, okay. Minus then fictitious assets. Fictitious yes. assets minus non-trade investments. Non-trade investments. So when you talk about the liability side approach, can you give me the formula for capital employed? Uh, formula for capital employed is first we get capital of partners plus reserves plus long term non current liabilities. Then we will subtract goodwill, fictitious assets, and non current non trade investments. Lovely. Okay. So this is the formula for what <laughs> capital employed. liability side approach. Liability side approach. Now let's go to finding the capital employed. Okay, so you have to find the capital employed by using two approaches. What are the two approaches that you will use? Asset side approach and liability side approach. So the two approaches that you will use is asset side approach and liability side approach. Asset side approach and liability side approach. So when you are using the liability side approach, you know what, what you will add? <coughs> You will start um, for from the side. side, right? Yes, ma'am. So when you're using the liability side approach, what are the things that you will add? Ma'am, from liability side, we'll add capital of partners. Capital of partners. Plus reserves and non-long. Okay. Minus, there is no non-current liability over here. This is current liabilities. Yes, okay, outside liabilities is this. So minus what? <laughs> minus fictitious assets. What is the fictitious assets over here? Can you tell me? Advertisement suspense. Yeah, advertisement suspense. So you will minus this fictitious assets that is advertisement suspense. Minus what? Other thing. Good. Minus goodwill and minus non trade investments. So, is there any non trade no. investments? No. No. So, when you start with liability side <coughs> approach, it is your capital plus reserves minus goodwill. There is no non trade yes, in, uh, investments minus fictitious assets. Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is the liability side approach. If you take your asset side approach, how will you get capital employed? Now for asset side approach, ma'am. All assets? All assets minus the goodwill or outside liabilities and minus fictitious assets. assets minus outside liabilities that is 100,000. So see all assets is 390,000? Yes, ma'am. Minus fictitious asset 10,000? Yes, ma'am. Minus goodwill, 30,000. 
minus outside liabilities that is 90000 and 10000 so you will get your capital employed asset side approach okay yes ma'am okay calculate i'm giving you time Come on, you have to calculate goodwill under two approach. One is the asset side approach. One is the liability side approach. Liability side. When I take the asset <coughs> liability side approach, I know capital employed is capital plus reserves. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I know capital employed is capital plus reserves, and from this, mm -hmm. I need to subtract the fictitious assets. Just a minute. So when I'm talking about the liability side approach, one thing should be very clear to you that it is capital. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Liability side approach. That means you start from the liability side. Liability side. So one thing should be very clear to you that it is the capital. Yes. Yes, ma'am. From the capital plus reserves, you are going to deduct your fictitious assets. Fictitious assets. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You are going to deduct your fictitious assets. You are going to deduct your yes, goodwill. Goodwill. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And you are going to deduct your non-trade investments. Yes, ma'am. Now, have they given you any information about the investments? Yes, ma'am. They have told you that the investments over here are non-trade investments. Okay. Okay. So that means you have to deduct this non-trade investment also because they are telling this to you that this is your non-trade investments. Okay. Okay. So when I'm talking about the liability side approach, I will take the capital plus reserves minus yes, the fictitious assets minus the goodwill and minus the non-trade investments. Are you okay. with me? Yes. Sir. Now when I'm talking about the asset side approach, so I will take total assets. Yeah. Yes. Sir. I will take total assets and I will minus the same thing, fictitious assets, goodwill, and non-trade investments. The same thing. Investment. Same thing I will minus. This is the investment. This is the uh, goodwill, and this is the fictitious assets. That means sixty, hundred thousand, and twenty thousand. Okay. Yes, sir. And I will also minus outsiders' liability. These two things. Outsiders' liability is your creditors and outstanding expenses. Your creditors and outstanding expenses I will minus. Expenses. So this is the asset side approach. Okay. Try doing it now. Yes,